there's never been a better time to try Home Assistant than now. For a long time, we've been waiting for drag and drop. In this video, I'm gonna give you my first impressions of drag and drop. I'm gonna try it for the first time while recording so you can get my full experience and first reaction. To get the most up-to-date features of Home Assistant and to stay ahead of the curve, you can join the beta program. Before you actually join the beta program, I recommend, as usual, create a full backup of your system. To do that, you can click on settings and scroll down to system, and then you should find backups right here. And then you can see that I just literally did one now. Now remember, when you actually do the backup, go and click on it, three dots, and just download the backup again, and ensure that you have it on your desktop or Mac before doing the upgrade or joining the beta. If you want to join the beta, you can click on the three dots and you should have something around here that says join beta channel. And there will be a pop-up again telling you that you need to create the backup, which we just literally did. So uh, you can actually leave the beta channel uh, if you click over here, so you'll only get relevant updates. However, even if you're in the beta channel, you can always wait for the real version if you don't want to upgrade. The latest release, Home Assistant 2024.3, Beta 5, you can see it right here. It's sort of ready to install. Again, it gives you one more chance to uh, create a backup. Now I'm gonna to upgrade to the latest operating system first. Okay, so we're back in. You can see the Home Assistant core update is still available. So now I'm just gonna untick the backup because we've got it already. I'm gonna click install and we'll be installing this beta. So we got a error as soon as I've updated for the tumble dryer Shelly device apparently is running an unsupported firmware, which I'm gonna to need to uh, fix later on. Now to create a new dashboard, if you haven't done this before and you're new to Home Assistant, you can go into settings, dashboards, you can click add a dashboard. We can create uh, one from scratch. So you're just gonna call this test and you can create it, give it an icon and have it admin only if you want to. Show in the sidebar, I'll have it uh, enabled so it'll appear here. So you can see our test dashboard is enabled. Now we can throw a couple of things in here. So let's say we wanna throw a couple of light entities. In this stage, you can't do any drag and dropping. But if we click edit, at this point we can't do any drag and dropping still. So I'm wondering if we can add a second card. Let's say we add a light card and we just change this to something else, save. Now let's see if this drag and drop is going to work. So the lamp moves on and off, which is fine. I'm trying to figure out how this drag and drop works. And let me, let's go and let me have a look at the uh, release notes. Okay, so I spent around 15 <laughs> minutes trying to figure this out. So I think uh, what we need to do is, is change the type to sections uh, before. now. I don't think we can change an existing one. So we, the uh, migration is not supported at the moment. So we need to start from scratch with a complete new view. So we can either do this, we can delete what we've got, all of the cards. So deleting cards, don't delete like connections or anything else, don't worry about it. And now we can go in over here, click on sections. And now we have uh, two sections added in. So it's pretty cool. So we've got these uh, three buttons. This looks like it's a drag. Ah, uh, this is a famous drag and drop button, the edit, so I think we can give it a name. So we can call this inspiration room. Okay, and I've got a plus button, so I can add in a couple of entities in here. So I added a couple of uh, devices, entities, and lights, so it's giving us a bit of a suggestion. You can click on like pick different card if you want to pick something else. Uh, unfortunately, it seems like if you change your mind, then you lose it, so um, we need to like do it again. Oh, I like we've got suggested cards. That's a very cool, interesting feature. I've never seen that before. Cool, so let's, let me just quickly get back to having a couple of things here. So I'm putting one, two, continue. This time I'm just gonna click add to dashboard. We've got them here, nice. So I can, as soon as I can edit them with these pencil, can add a new one, the plus button looks, looks really user friendly. I can add another section here and we've got like unnamed section. So let's call this um, hallway and we can add plus button and I'm gonna just gonna add something quickly. Okay, nice. And as you can see, as I'm starting to fill them all in, we are getting uh, prompted uh, another section. I'm not sure like, how many sections you can create. 
but it seems like it just keeps going to uh, column structure. Not sure if there's a way to change that around. And you can see that you can drag and drop here. You can also drag and drop in other sections so you can move things around as you can see. And actually it's pretty snappy. I would be curious to see how it works on mobile. Um, but yeah, it's working pretty well. Um, yeah, it's good. Here we go. So we can delete sections. So I can delete this section with this button. It looks great. So if I click on done, then you can see that it's all, all locked in beautifully and I can actually turn on and turn things off. So you see this is the light for the recording. We turn it on and turn it off in this way. Uh, we've got another light uh, over here. We have the hallway temperature sensor. So we can easily change things. And if we go on the edit button again, you can see that I can uh, swap around things. So this feels to me the easiest way to start off a very simple dashboard for yourself, for your end users. It, it looks quite neat, looks very clean. And I'm sure that in the future releases in Home Assistant, they'll make uh, it even more uh, inspiring and they'll probably add uh, cooler features to come. So keep updated with uh, the Home Assistant community to find out what happens next. If you want to do a full dashboard video with sections and I can try to recreate one of my previous dashboards, let me know in the comment section down below. And if you are interested, remember to like this video and subscribe to see when that video drops. But I will look at the comments and if there's interest, I'll do it. This is Rio from Smarter Makers. You can click here and find the next Home Assistant video in this series.